Hi folks, let's do Shantal art today. Shantal artwork is a tribal art from India and this artwork is such a simple artwork and the beauty lies in its simplicity. I'm going to use um, Arteza's um, alcoholic marker pens for this artwork and you can use acrylic, gouache, whatever you have and the basically you just block in the colors for this artwork that's what i'm going to do here i just do did a quick outline of what i want to draw it's a simple scene of two children going home uh, from uh, school and i'm going to just block in the colors first um, as you can see it's, it's, it's like you don't have to be very careful this is a tribal art you can just go ahead and then block in the colors Shantal artwork has its own unique characteristics. If you look at the human figures in Shantal art, they are all little curvy with face more rounded and very simplicitic hairstyles. Uh, there, uh, there is always it's always side profile as far as I have seen, and the eyes are really big for the. Face. So those are very distinctive characteristics of uh, Shantal art. Even if you look at the trees, the trees are also curved. They don't, they're, they're not very straight. So the curved uh, features are quite common in Shantal art. Another distinctive uh, thing about Shantal art is that it's always done in the form of a scroll where multiple events is basically stacked one above the other. So it's in one page. Uh, event one, event two, and event three. It it all of them are drawn horizontally, one after the other, in one sh one sheet. Now comes the part where you actually define the artwork using a black marker pen. I am using a waterproof marker, a black marker pen here, and drawing the outline and basically defining the artwork. As you can see, uh, you don't have to worry about making your lines straight and perfect. This is tribal art. It is all freehand drawing drawn by uh, tribal people. They don't uh, care about perspective or neatness. They're all, they're all about expressing what they see through their artwork. So you can be relaxed and you know give a free hand to all your uh, tribal artworks. So that's the best part. I The black lines really do bring out uh, the artwork. Now the artwork is starting to stand out more and you can see all the uh, um, details more clearly. So it's, it's important to use your black pen and then do this outline. Here I'm going to use a white gel pen to add some highlights and details. Uh, if you notice in Chantal artwork, they don't use any vibrant colors for detailing. It's always white and it actually enhances the uh, picture that you are creating. So the more details you add using the white uh, gel pen, the better your art would start looking. Uh, and for jewelry and other ornaments as well, if you notice, they don't have um, any gold ornaments or jewelry. It's always in white. It's always white thread, white earrings, white bangles and so on. So that's basically what I'm, go I'm doing here right now, adding jewelry or, you know, some ornament. Yeah, it's school children, I know, but then, you know, Chantal art would need some sort of, you know, Chantal characteristic in there. So that's why I'm adding some white jewelry. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me. I hope uh, you will join me for more such tutorials in this space. Thank you for watching.